Welcome back to another training video by V Studios. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. If you don't know me by now, my name is Patman Senati Raja. I am a V partner and uh, the managing director of V. But ultimately, I'm just a networker. And in this video, I want to share a little bit of my secrets of success. What did I do? What did I apply in, in, in building my business the past uh, eight, nine years? Now, you sitting at home right now watching this video, you already must have been either through a few days, a few hours, a few months, or a few years of your life with QuestNet and the V. And I'm sure by now you've gone through enough ups and downs, rejection, disappointment, a lot of joy when you get a check, all right? A lot of joy, more joy when your downline gets a check. And I'm sure they reach many points of your whole journey where you wondered whether you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing, okay? Now, to me, this whole concept of networking is not rocket science. It doesn't take a genius to, to understand how it works. And to be honest, the QuestNet system is the simplest out there. You won't get anything more simple than this. Right? But I've traveled the world. I've spoken to thousands of people around the world, met networkers on the street, sat down in coffee shops, sat down in living rooms and kitchens with people. And they all tell me or ask me, more importantly, the one million dollar question. Patman, what do I need to do? All right. Um, what is the secret of success? Okay, Patman. Oh, Patman, what am I doing wrong? Now, the beauty about network marketing is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. All right. It's already there. Systems are in place. All right. And uh, if you watch my last video, the simple rule of network marketing is shut up, listen and do. And I'm saying it again with a lot of love. All right? So if you really understand network marketing, there's no need for you to reinvent the wheel. It's already there. Systems like eight basic building blocks, which I hope you have done. The very aggressive, unbelievable system of rule three. Rule one, rule two, rule three. You can get it on video or ask your upline. Now today, I wanted to talk about mindset or benchmark. And before I even go into the module and talk to you, I want to share a little story about uh, an athlete called uh, Roger Bannister. He was a runner and he specialized in the one mile run. Back then it was not by meters, it was miles, okay, in the Olympics or whatever sporting game. And Roger Bannister's biggest challenge was that one mile was never run under four minutes. All right, and doctors and scientists around the world, all right, came up with a conclusive finding that the human body was not capable of running one mile under four minutes. Okay? All right? And Roger Bannister attempted many times to break what they call the four-minute barrier. Right? First, second, third, many attempts. And the whole world told Roger Bannister, it's never been done. It's impossible. It's abnormal. It's not humanly possible, the, the negativity out there. And finally, all right, one day, Roger Bannister broke the four-minute barrier. Never done by any human ever in the history of mankind. And he did it. He ran one mile under four minutes. Now, the funniest thing about what happened, the next month after Roger Bannister achieved it, all right, over 20 people around the world achieve running one mile under four minutes. Now you're sitting there saying, oh, placebo or whatever. Simple fact, Roger Bannister created a benchmark. He created a benchmark proving that a human being can run one mile under four minutes. And that created a belief out there in many runners, hey, he's done it, I can do it too. Now, this philosophy of benchmarking is how the human mind works. It applies to your personal life. It applies to everything you have ever attempted to do. Think about your childhood. When you were younger, all right, if you were supposed to dive into a swimming pool or jump across a ditch or ride a bicycle, all right, you always looked at it as an impossibility. As a little kid, you see somebody riding a bicycle, you say, oh my God, how on earth did he do it? You cannot imagine staying balanced on two wheels. When I was a kid, I couldn't believe it. But then I saw my brother do it. Right? And you know your brother. I lived with him for so many years. You know, I grew up with him. And I said, hey, if he can do it, I can do it. 
Right? So what happened in my mind, that benchmark became achievable. Now we live in today's world with trying to keep up with benchmarks all around us. All right? How to be a better son, better husband, and most importantly in, in our business, how to be a better networker. How to be a more successful networker. Let me tell you a story. Back then when we started networking, checks of 5,000 US dollars. All right, was almost impossible to achieve. 2,000 US dollars was such a great achievement because not many people have done it. But as more and more people in QuestNet achieve 1,000, 2,000 US a week, everyone started to believe it's possible, it's normal, it's doable. If you really start to understand what it takes to make it in this business, is to understand the philosophy of a benchmark. All right? And today's module is called Act 48. And this video, most probably, if you look at the label sitting in front of you, it's called Act 48. Now, Act 48 is an abbreviation for activation in 48 hours. Now, if you are new, you may be thinking, okay, activation, new word, never heard about it. All right? Now, let me explain it to you. Activation is basically when you refer the first person on your left and the first person on your right. Right with your tracking center. When you refer the first person on your left and the first person right, you are considered activated. That's called activation. Now, there are a lot of theories in activation. But my biggest question to you right now sitting there is how long does it take to activate your tracking center? How long does it take to get one on the left, one on the right? Now, I've traveled the world and I got answers which would shock even you. Some people say one week. Now, even you sitting back there thinking, one week, doable. One on the left, one on the right. Okay, doable. Now, some people say one month. All right? And I'm sure there's some morons out there saying it takes six months to activate and it's okay. Now, I want to set a benchmark in your mind. When I got into network marketing, I had no benchmark. I didn't know what was possible or not possible. I asked my upline, my mentor, Dato Vijay, all right, what do I do? He said, work as hard as you have ever worked before. All right, or work harder than you have ever worked before. And I woke up every morning, went out there, showed as many plans as I could, all right, to sign up as many people as I can. Okay, and I brought in 20 over people into my network in 48 hours. 20 over people, directs. I spoke to anyone and everyone. Okay, now if you are sitting there and looking, I bet you, when you heard my statement that I got 20 over people in 48 hours, your reaction was, wow, unbelievable. Now, I thought it was normal. I didn't know it was unbelievable. All right? I signed up 20 over people. I was a little bit, you know, tired of working and talking to so many people. But I didn't know whether it was good. I didn't know whether it was bad. I just did it. Okay? Until I met some other networkers from around the world and I told them about my achievement of bringing in 20 over people in um, 48 hours and everyone looked at me and said, Patman, unbelievable, nobody has ever, ever done this before. I, I was shocked. And then I started to slow down. I didn't bring in another 20 over people the next 48 hours because you think it's such a great achievement. Why should I be a great achiever? Why don't I remain as a mediocre achiever? Now I want to change the way you think. Bottom line, I believe strongly that activation, one on the left, one on the right, should be done in 48 hours. 48 hours. Alright? Now, don't sit there and look at me and say, oh my God, that's impossible, that's difficult. How am I going to get two sign-ups? How am I going to get two people to buy a Biodis or buy a Simier watch in 48 hours? It's almost impossible. No, it's not. It's impossible because maybe you did not hear about everyone doing it. Maybe your upline never did it. But you are now going to set a benchmark for your downlines to follow. So if you are my downline sitting at home, and I come to you and say, listen, you're brand new networking. You don't know anything about it. You're sitting down with me for the first time after signing up. And I tell you, listen, you got to sign up two people in 48 hours. That's the norm. Everyone does it. It's normal. All right. If you take 72 hours, your concert slow. If you take one week, you're an absolute failure. My mother did two sign-ups in 48 hours. My grandmother did 
two sign-ups in 48 hours. My neighbor did two sign-ups in 48 hours. My barber did two sign-ups in 48 hours. All right, my mother-in-law activated in 48 hours. Everyone I know, everyone I signed up activated in 48 hours. If you keep hearing this every single day, if you meet everyone in my group, the people you interact with, and everyone says, I did it in 48 hours. Activation? 48 hours? How long? Oh, less than 48 hours. How long about you? 48 hours. 48 hours. 48 hours. 48 hours activation. Now, if you listen to this long enough, and you're exposed to everyone around you in your organization who have achieved activation in 48 hours, what happens to you? It suddenly looks normal. Correct? Alright? It's like Roger Bannister ran one mile under four minutes. That means I can do it if I'm also a runner. Alright? Now you're a networker. I did more than activation in 48 hours. I got 20 over people. And all I'm asking you to achieve is find two people, one on the left, one on the right, in 48 hours. Now you're sitting there right now saying, easy for you to say, Patman. You're already financially free, sitting down here enjoying life. But I just got started. I don't know anything. Now, true and not true. Agree. If you just got started and you're seeing this video for the first time, you're going to be a bit shocked thinking, how do I do activation in 48 hours? Now, if you watch the Rule 3 video, which I hope you have. If you haven't, find it, watch it. All right? I tell them that you have to have a name list of 150 names minimum. If you are watching this video and you haven't got 150 names, please press pause, go to your dining table, write down 150 names, come back and watch this, okay? So rule number one in rule three, the three rules, is to have 150 names on your list. And I told you, or I told in that video, for you to divide your list into hot, warm, cold. Now let me focus on just the hot category. The hot category are people closest to you. Brother, sister, mother, mother-in-law, depends whether you get along with her. All right, best buddy, neighbor, childhood friend, uh, 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 wife, you know, fiance, whatever. Okay, people who are extremely close to you, you have a high level of trespass with. All right, that means you can speak to them very direct. Now, if you have at least six people on your hot category, I had maybe 10, 15. Most people have about 10, all right? Immediate family, best friends. So you got six people on that list. Okay. All right. Now, ultimately, first thing you're asking is, what do I do with the six people? Go to them. All right. Show the fastest plan you can show. Two minutes. Fantastic business opportunity. Blah, 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 blah. Buy this product. Support me. I need your help. I'm just getting started in business. Hot market. Huh? Your own brother, your own mom. Okay. Now, if you got six people, at least two will say, okay, done, here's the money, I'm joining. Alright? And if you meet two or three of the six people in 48 hours, you activated in 48 hours. Now, the mistake a lot of people make, or why they take too long to activate. Firstly, they are too afraid, or they have fear, to approach the hot market. I'm scared to talk to my mother, I'm scared to talk to my brother, because I don't want to be rejected by the people closest to you. Correct? Or to me. Right? Being rejected by a stranger is easier than being rejected by your brother. I believe so. Alright? So what you have to do is basically don't exactly go to your brother like a prospect. I never went to my first 20 people like prospects. I went to them as a businessman in Questnet who needed their support to help me get started in Questnet. I went to my brother and said, listen, shut up, sign up or I'll beat you up. Seriously, I did that. Okay, I need your help. Buy a product, be happy. All right, you want to make money? Come and talk to me tomorrow. I'll show you how the plan works. I went to my mom. I said, Mom, help me out. Buy a watch, buy whatever. Okay, I went to my auntie, buy a coin. Go to somebody, ask them to buy an amazing bio disc. Okay, whatever it is, bottom line is your hot market should sign up immediately. Okay, now if everyone just understands that philosophy, that if you approach your hot market first, warm second, cold last, alright? If you approach your hot market first, you are definitely to get activated in 48 hours, alright? Now, somebody asked me this question, but Mr. Padman, in the first 48 hours, alright, I don't even know how to show the plan. Hello, wake up, smell the coffee. You don't have to show the plan to perfection. 
Remember, you're just getting them to support you. You're getting them to help. You may show the plan to them after one week. I showed the plan to my brother much later after he signed up. But I needed him to sign up. Now, why is activation in 48 hours so important? Why? Because if I achieved it, when I got activation in 48 hours, all right, all my sign-ups looked at me as upline. They look at you as the upline and say, what did he do? I want to do the same. So he got activation in 48 hours, done. I'm going to do activation in 48 hours. Do you understand? Now you do activation in 48 hours. The guy you sign up is going to do activation in 48 hours. So ultimately what happens if you're smart, okay, everyone in your organization starts to do activation in 48 hours. You start hitting an amazing income faster than you ever dreamed of. All right? You will achieve financial freedom in less than two years if you just set a benchmark for your network to follow. All right? Now, everything you do, okay, the philosophy of networking is monkey see, monkey do. So I'm telling you right now, all right? I'm a monkey, you're a monkey, okay? What I do, you see and you do. Are you guys with me? Simple philosophy of networking. So if I do activation in 48 hours, you see it, you do it. And the same applies to everyone in your group, duplication to perfection, okay? Now, benchmarking is so important in networking. Everything requires benchmark, uh, benchmarking, okay? If you call me and I don't answer my phone and you ask me where I am finally when I answer, I say I'm at home watching TV, 8 p.m., right? In most countries, 8 to 10 is what I call peak networking time, okay? So at 8 o'clock, you call me and I say, oh, I'm staying at home, chilling, watching TV, relaxing. What happens? You do the same thing, right? You stay at home and watch TV at 8 o'clock. What happens to your downline? They do. Now you pick up the phone and you call me and say, okay, hi, excited, I'm all, I'm showing a plan. You call me after half an hour, I'm showing another plan. You call me, I'm doing basic training. You call me, I'm out here in somebody's house doing a bio BP or, or a bio disc demo, all right? So you call me every single time you catch me doing something exciting about QuestNet. What are you going to do? You're going to duplicate. Monkey see, monkey do. So Act 48, activation in 48 hours, is not something short term. It's not something for you to say, okay, I can do it. The effect of activation in 48 hours, if it's a benchmark and everyone follows, is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright, because eventually you need to set a system in place. Now, rule 3. How can you ask somebody to do rule 3 if you haven't done it? Simple philosophy, same like Act 48. Alright, so I always tell people, before I tell everyone to do Rule 3, I have to do Rule 3. My question to you, are you doing Rule 3? Because monkey see, monkey do. So philosophy is like Rule 3. Alright, concepts like Act 48. Okay, all of this is something you set a benchmark. Others in your organization follow. As simple as that. Okay. Now, think about this. How you lead your life as a networker? Okay, a lot of people ask me this question and sometimes it's a bit difficult to answer. Because right now, you are a networker. You are a businessman, businesswoman, entrepreneur. Okay? And what you are doing, you're not doing a traditional business. You're not selling stuff over a counter. You don't own a shop. You are basically in the people business. And the people business requires the philosophy of influence, the power of influence. How can you influence your people to act in a way you want them to act? Now, in traditional concepts, I believe as a boss to an employee, you can demand your employee to act in a certain way, correct? Come to work at 9 or you're fired. Okay, one hour lunch or you're fired. Work until late night or you're fired. That's a different kind of influence. Okay, but in network marketing, you can't do that. You can't walk to your downline and say, do rule 3 or you're fired. You can't. You've got to influence the person to do rule 3. You've got to influence the person to do Act 48, activation in 48 hours. And what is the strongest power of influence? Is you doing it yourself. By you having the discipline of practicing rule 3, all right, consistently, religiously, by you making sure you achieved activation in 48 hours. And all your leaders achieve activation in 48 hours. That your whole group sings, shouts, 
screams activation 48 hours as a norm. Don't make it sound or look like a miracle. It is not. Even a monkey can activate in 48 hours. If you are serious about your dreams and this business is not a hobby, that you want this business to achieve financial freedom, that you want the lifestyle everyone around the world is dreaming about, then wake up and smell the coffee. Do activation in 48 hours. Alright? It's very simple. Focus on your hot group in your name list. Approach them. Sign them up. Okay? Now, there are many aspects of our business. Rule 3, Act 48. Alright? But it's generally your behavior also. And I know I'm digressing, but this is directly connected to Act 48. Alright? Because ultimately, as a networker, you don't have a choice. If you want to be a leader in your own right, if you want to lead your people, alright, if you want people to follow you, if you want to say jump and they reply how high and not why, okay, you have to live to a higher standard. I think one of the greatest challenges for me when I got into networking and I, I learned so much from my mentor, Dato Vijay, alright, and every chance I got of sitting down with him, okay, he kept repeating these words to me. And today it makes a lot of sense. Back then I was a bit, you know, know, why is he saying this every day? He always told me that, Patman, start changing who you are. Start living to a higher standard. Because now people depend on you. People are watching you. Therefore, everything you do influences them. Everything you do influences how big and how fast and how strong your network grows. And I really thought about that statement, you know. And of course, I had a lot of bad habits, like you, okay. And I slowly changed. I became a more disciplined person. I became more hardworking than I've ever been in my life. I was out there from morning till night, showing plans, doing basic training, talking to my people. All right, because I realized that I was 001 in my organization. And everyone looked up to me. And eventually, a lot of people are going to look up to you. And what standards you live by is what everyone is going to follow. You understand? All right? Okay? And that's so important in life. And that's most important in network marketing. Because there's nothing else. Nothing else defines your organization except your leadership. Your standards as an upline. So my question to you is, what are your standards? What standards are you applying? Are you doing rule 3? Right? Are you doing a lot of basic trainings? Are you watching DVDs? Because if you don't do all of this, no one is going to follow. They smell that you're not doing it. Right? You can lie for one day, but you can't lie for five years. Ultimately, people are watching you and they realize they're not doing it. All right? Or you are not doing it. They don't do it either. So as a networker, I think the hardest thing about being a networker and let me tell you right now on, on, on this video, I think the hardest thing about being a networker is the responsibility you undertake on your shoulders. Alright, the responsibility you take on that right now everyone you sign up is going to be watching you. That your attitude, the way you walk, the way you talk, alright, and how hard you work, everything you do will decide that person's success. So Dr. Vijay always told me, Patman, don't be selfish. Work harder than you ever worked before. Why? Because somebody else's success is dependent on your attitude, on your benchmark. So Act 48 is not about signing up two people. That's the details. All right? The concept of Act 48 is about creating a benchmark. All right? You create a benchmark here of activation 48 hours, everyone who signs up in your organization follows that benchmark. And what happens? You basically create a whole network with the right attitude of a brand new benchmark. Right? You create a, a whole network of people who know monkey see, monkey do. Alright? Talking in networking doesn't help alone. I still remember, I, I network from the age of 23 to 30. Seven years, full time, before I achieve financial freedom. All right? And that seven years, I did rule three every month without fail. I never rested. 
I worked harder than I ever worked before because I knew that thousands of people depended on Padman Senati Raja and thousands of people were watching Padman Senati Raja. And my attitude, my action, my walk, my energy, my passion would decide their future, their success. So don't take this responsibility lightly. Alright? Focus on simple benchmarks. First benchmark I want you to look at is rule 3. 15 presentations a month. Non-negotiable. Alright? If you do rule 3 consistently, effectively, alright, everyone in your network, monkey see, monkey do, alright, will basically start listening to you, alright, and applying rule 3. Now imagine if you have thousands of people in your downline, monkey see, monkey do, monkey see, monkey do, monkey see, monkey do, alright, a whole philosophy following your benchmark of 15 plans a month, alright, what happens? Right, welcome to financial freedom. You will achieve an income you never dreamt about. Okay? Next benchmark which I want you to focus on, which is this video is supposed to be focusing on, is Act 48. Simple action. Activation of your tracking center. One left, one right, 48 hours. Possible, 100%. Doable, 100%. Has thousands of people done it around the world? Thousands of people have done it. Not enough people talk about it, so I'm talking about it. I did 20 over direct referrals in 48 hours. Who were they? Hot market. Brother, sister, mother, best friend, neighbor. Alright? People who are close to you who you don't have to talk for 45 minutes. Two minutes, done, pop, get your product, sign up. I got my left, I got my right. Now, if everyone just believes in that concept, if everyone just pushes this message of activation 48 hours, slowly it becomes what? Something which you hear over and over and over and over and over and over again. Act 48. Activation 48 hours. You can do it in 48 hours. It's easy. Everyone does it. It's normal. It's doable. It's achievable. We are supposed to do it in 48 hours. You hear this long enough, it becomes ingrained in your subconscious mind. It becomes a habit. First time the guy signs up, hello, welcome to the family, sign up, blah, 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 got your product, fantastic. Tada. Now, what do I do? Create a name list. Right, hot, warm, cold, hot market. These people get two sign-ups next 48 hours. Done. How you say it matters. Don't say it like a depressed monkey, okay? Don't say like, oh, I know this Act 48 is very difficult. No one in the planet has ever done it. If you do it, you'll be the first of human race who's ever done it. Don't say that. You basically say, hey, activation 48 hours. My mother just did it. Right? My cat just did it. I don't know. Do you understand? Alright? The more doable it sounds... More people do it. And I'm telling you, with all honesty, one on the left, one on the right, activation, 48 hours, extremely doable. Send that message downline. Create that benchmark. Thank you very much.